Hello and good morning, brothers and sisters. Well, afternoon now. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. I love every one of y'all, and um, today is a new day to try to do better. Um, I'm just doing a little truck ride. We're going for a cruise, and I'm um, gonna go help my, my brother out, uh, you know, haul some trash, things like that. Um, but anyways, uh, just doing a little driving around and talking. You know, um, we're gonna, you know, off the oppressors, you know, these oppressors. You know, their time is coming, y'all. We gotta remain patient. Um, keep doing um, the Lord's work. Keep pushing. Never give in. Stand firm. Uh, these people are, uh, their daddy is Satan. So they follow what Satan does. What does Satan do? He's a liar. He's a, he's, um, he loves delusion. He loves separation. He loves people at each other. And what do you think the platform I'm on now does? You know, they promote and they let go anything that is against scriptures. They let go and promote anything that is of sexual orientation or um, drugs or, uh, you know, talking crap or anything. That's no problem. But uh, brothers and sisters in the light that tell the truth, oh man, they don't like truth, do they? So our job is to do, just keep pushing. The ones that you, of you out there that ain't, um, you know, you're sitting idle or whatever, you know, do something. It doesn't have to be on these platforms. Um, there's other things to do. You know, there's more fronts to this war than just YouTube and Facebook and all them crappy places that turn crappy. You know, it was a good idea, but we got caught up by the good idea. It was, um, you know, they use it to see how we roll, don't we? They use it to see how we talk, how we think, and everything. And now they got the programming in, and now they can um, um, idle out anyone they want to. But our job is to fight back. You know, it's a digital war. It's a war against principalities. And it's a war against the authorities, um, cosmic powers, spiritually. There's a war in all kinds of fronts. Therefore, there's a war for somebody. There's a, there's a, um, what do you call it? A, um, a type of, um, experience that you may have that can help someone else wherever you're at have whatever you went through it will help somebody and that's the point brothers and sisters we have to help we have to do things we can't just sit and watch and wait and expect to everything just to there you go it doesn't work that way you know just like in a garden you know you plant the seeds you know you do nothing weeds grow we know that. I know that. You know, I ain't tending my garden that great this year. Um, you know, the literal garden. It's um, had some weeds in it. You know, it is still bearing um, vegetables and stuff like that. And of course, we went out and pulled some weeds and stuff like that. And you know, sometimes you get a little behind. But you got to keep the weeds out, right? And the more weeds you let in, the more weeds you got to pull. And it makes the job a whole lot harder, and then you can get um, discouraged and give up on it. Well, don't go give up on the food. The spirit food is what I'm talking about now. Spirit food is important. When we plant that seed, we have to plant the seeds, brothers and sisters, and we have to grow it. And, um, and all of that is individual. You have your seed. You have to plant your seed, which means do your research, um, find the knowledge to make yourself wise, um, and things like that. And you know, and talking about today, you know, today is a beautiful day. Of course, yeah, it's cloudy, and we had some rain a little bit, and we started getting some rain again, and that's awesome in a way. And now, mowing is starting to start. You know, I got to mow my yard here soon. 
before it gets too deep and then it's harder to mow and it's slower to go through. No different than life too. You know, we mow a lot of things out the way, but if we don't keep things mowed down, they grow back, right? We don't keep that maintenance on it and stuff. So, um, you know, and I just want to tell you all, you know, I love all of you and um, I appreciate every one of you, you know, for supporting um, what I'm trying to do here, supporting what my wife is supporting, me and um, this channel. And um, what I'm trying to do here is I'm just dropping seeds. It's up to y'all to plant, keep the weeds out. If you all want help, I can help. You know, I don't mind helping, but I can't hold your hand as well. You know, I'll show you how to use the hoe in the garden, but you gotta uh, eventually use that hoe in the garden. And, um, you know, and these seeds are designed to, I'm not here to, in a way bring, I'm here to, in a way to bring unity, but I'm here in a way to divide, to call out, to uh, show that what, where is the bad. Um, like in chats, you know, I drop a lot of scripture in chats. I've been doing that quite a while now in the YouTube platform, and um, I just hit and hit and hit and hit. Every day I hit scripture and drop it on chats. And, um, you know, whether I watch this station, whether they're a good one or not, or I don't care. I put the scripture in there, and it's up to whoever reads it, and those in lights will recognize it. Those that are not will shudder. They won't like it. They'll want to attack and hit your personality or your demeanor, or some like to even hit, assume what your intentions are. So they, you know, you're going to get them attacks. Well, be patient. You know, um, don't worry about it. Don't let it uh, beat you up. Don't let it uh, bring you down. They're just uh, confused. They are um, not in the light. You know, they're feeding off darkness. Um, and there's a lot of darkness in here, in this YouTube. I mean, it ain't hard to look around and find out and you'll see, you know, the promotions. You know, people are what their itching ears desire. They go for what their itching ears desire. You know, they like to watch um, uh, videos on different um, music and stuff that ain't negative. You know, that's negative and everything. Or they like to watch things that are um, just straight out, just um, knocking God and his people or or things that promote demons, you know, demonic things. You know, we're not from this world, so why do you follow things from this world? We're not from this world, why you agree with the things that are going on with the world? You know, there's some out there that agree to the, uh, to the things of the world, the philosophies of the world the witchcraft of the world, these politicians of the world. Their duty is, these days, conquer and divide. That's their duty for today and every day. Conquer and divide. And what are they, have, have they done? People are so blinded. The people are so blinded that they allow these demons to conquer and divide. If you cannot see that you are so blind and there's nothing that's going to help you. You're under the delusion that God has placed before you and you will believe every lie that's put out. So, you know, uh, just, uh, you want the truth? Go to the Word. It's simple. Everything you need to know is in the Word. Everything you need to live on is in the Word. You have to feed the Spirit. <laughs> you, be, you let the spirit get weak and dead. <laughs> you're you're living by the, the flesh, and the flesh ain't gonna get you nowhere but in the grave. So, uh, you know, just uh, remember patience. Don't worry. 
don't let things offend you. Um, you know, don't let words divide you. Um, Christians and brothers and sisters, don't argue amongst each other. That cause divisions amongst you. What does it look like um, in front of other uh, non-believers when Christians are at each other's necks? Or when Christians knock non-believers, right? When you're knocking on them. What is, it, what is that um, when you're insulting? You know, what is that going to do? You know, you're going to be, for example, the gay thing, okay? It's in Scripture. That ain't right. That's a sin, okay? It's some kind of disorder and something's going on there in their past that caused a person to do that form of sin just like any other form of sin. But you don't go around and calling names and knocking people down on it. What do you say, going, man? See what I mean about Christians? That's why I'm not going to be a Christian. That's exactly the problem. Don't you think we need uh, those that are in sin to come out of sin into the light? And therefore, that experience they got from that sin, they can help others that are in that same sin to help them out of that sin into the light. But when you knock them down and hold them in the darkness, you're not doing no good. You're just putting a door over the hole. That does no good. Therefore, you discouraged, you divided, and you're a liar. And then, therefore, you are just as guilty as the rest. And that's no good. So, therefore, you know, ain't no one's skin. You know, the skin thing. Everyone, you know, not everyone. Because some people take words literally like that. Everyone. There's people out there that are all hell-bound over skin. Which skin is better? If we're under Christ, we're all one family under Christ, right? We are all created through the Creator, the Great I Am, the Most High, however you want to call God. We're all under that as one, as Christians, brothers, and sisters. The devil wants this division. To put each other, who's the better one? Oh, I'm white. I'm better than anyone. We are the chosen. I'm black. We are the chosen. I'm uh, uh, Spanish. We're the I'm Chinese. We're the chosen. We're the first people. Whatever. Man, there's only one first people that came, and that's the human people. And he created us and set us on this planet to thrive, prosper, love, and do good. And then not to worry. And to trust in him. <coughs> you know, you can't twist things up. So, you know, um, and that's what the devil wants. That's what the, these demons that are out here, they want. And they do this, what, every 10, 15 years? Get the people up on each other's necks so they can get their votes in and get their power back? I mean, come on. If you can't see that, I mean, you're, I'm sorry, you are blinded. They are there to separate the people because of their greediness, because of their money. They, they follow the world. And therefore, they want you to follow them. Why? Well, they want you to follow them. Why? Because we are slaves to them. We work. We, we work. We never own nothing, especially in this country, and I'm assuming most countries. They come in and take, or they give. They, um, they want you to rely on them instead of you going out and relying on our Father and the Son and yourself. You're more stronger than what you think. You remember that? A mustard seed of faith, and you can tell this mountain to move from here to there. The problem is, what Jesus is getting to there, before we even say mountain move from here to there, we already doubted it. And that's our problem. We doubt too much and we don't have faith in our Lord what he's trying to guide us to and show us we just ignore it 
and don't have faith in it. Why are you worrying today? There's nothing to worry about. Today is a new day to do better. You just wake up, don't think, flow. You're, you know your job is at this. You know what you got to do, but you don't know how everything is going to be done. If the Lord wills, you'll be able to go to work. Something might happen, and you, your plan is going to be all messed up where you can't go, right? Or do you, all these other things, you know? And there's um, one, you know, they, they were saying something about, you know, all the bills and everything like that. You know, complaining about bills and why do we have to pay all this? Like Jesus said, who does this money belong to? And the dude was like, to Caesar. Then he said, you know, about the taxes, paying taxes on. And he said, well, give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. Well, if you don't like the stuff you have, you don't like the bills you pay, give it all back. Give back their money. Give back their stuff. You don't like your taxes, give back all the money that you have. America money that you have to Jesus or to, uh, to the government. We don't need it. Give all yourself to Jesus. Trust in him if you want to go that route. And I guarantee you, you will be fed. You'll be housed. And you'll have some clothes. I mean, you can see that. He's talked about the homeless all the time, you know, here and there. You know, uh, my homeless brothers and sisters. I've been there before, too, you know. But um, I remember out there on the streets, you know, even though I was on the streets, sleeping in the woods, um, benches, different people's places, you know, uh, bridges, whatever, just find the spots and slept. But there was something that never stopped my needs. I had clothes on. I wasn't running around homeless with no clothes. Food. Food never stopped. I wasn't running around without anything to eat. I didn't have no money or nothing. I was homeless, right? But I didn't have no um, money to eat, but I ate. I didn't have no money or anything to have something to drink, but I had something to drink. You know, I didn't, um, I was out there, didn't have people around me, but there was people around me. You know, there were some that wanted me to go this way, there's someone that wanted me to go this way, now to make them choices. You know, a lot of times we make them wrong choices. But thanks be to God, I made, I did make those wrong choices. I did go sleeping in the streets. But the thing is, I know all about them things. You know, you can't tell by my look. But that's the problem with people. Just like it says, you know, mankind um, looks to the outer appearance. God judges by the heart. And at the same time, our scripture says to follow our Savior, our, our God, our, our, our Messiah, Jesus, our, you know, our Holy Spirit, with, which is within us, follow it. You know, so therefore, the outer appearance isn't what's important. It's what's in the heart. And how I do things, like I've said before, everyone is 50-50. I do not care who you are, what you are, or how you are, or anything. You are 50-50, liberal, Republican, black or white, gay or straight. I do not care, 50-50. You good people, you good people. Everyone got sins. And if you're good people, you know, you're, you're, your trust level goes up from 50 to 60 to 70, all that. We all got to make sure test the spirits right so there is a form of judgment not to judge harshly but there is a form of judgment you know and there's um, another one you know uh, tell a person um, to correct a person once or twice and if they do not want to roll that way have nothing to do with them that's in scripture so I'm here to hit in the gut to wake up and I'm here to help so, hey, I love every one of y'all. I don't want to keep on going because these uh, downloads take a while. And now I'm doing two pages now. And then it's going to take double the time to get it going. Um, you know, if anyone has some suggestions, let me know. Um, but I'm going to continue it that way for a bit and see how it rolls. 
um, all of you on the Marco Pantovich helps, you know, the main page. Um, there's, you know, quite a few of y'all over there. If you will, go to the Marco Pantovich helps two page and um, go ahead and sub there. And um, just in case the main page gets um, knocked out, you know, nothing I can do about it. At least we got a little head start on the main one. Now, once I hit the thousand um, subscribers, um, they it said it's something about you know I have to hit a thousand subscribers and so many videos and so much watch time. I got the videos and watch time, just don't have the subs yet. Got a lot of watch time and all that, but it's kind of wild how the you know they mess things up. You know, so um, let's do that. And now also um, there's uh, some of you out there. Um, if you notice, I am in commenting to you. It is not due to me. It's due to YouTube. They are censoring certain people in the comments. Therefore, when I go to click on it, it says comment no longer available. Or when I go to click on it, I'm, I'm in. I go like and hit the heart and then go to comment. And then it says an error, error 404 or something like that. <clears throat> and next thing you know, I go try to go back and, you know, I'm like, all right, I'll rewrite it and try. And I try to go back to that person's comment. No longer available. Comment no longer available. YouTube oppressor. The oppressor YouTube. You will fall under the feet of the people. Your little platform that you so loved and put so much work into will be destroyed. There will be no more. And think about this, brothers, sisters, that all this stuff that we're doing on this platforms will be no more sooner or later when our messiah comes down we won't need none of this because he is everything we will be there in the kingdom and it will be finally peace not knowing evil again ain't that amazing man oh my dog she's waiting to get out ain't she ain't that right baby girl you're a good girl so yeah, she's so good she's a good girl she likes to hang out with us and stuff like that. Go places, you know, road dog and stuff like that. But, hey, I love every one of you. I hope your day goes well. And, um, and remember this, today is a new day to try to do better. A new day to try to do better. That's it. Don't let Satan make you feel that damn hopelessness and everything else that he makes you feel. When you sin, you recognize your sin and fight against your flesh to correct it. It's simple. So, not simple to correct, but simple to do. There's two differences there. So, um, hey, I love all y'all. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share. And um, I'm going to uh, share this also on the other side on the Marco, Marco Pantovich Helps 2 page. So I can make sure the few that ain't getting the message on the other side are still getting the message. I got to make sure everyone's getting their messages and stuff like that. These little seeds for y'all to plant. So I love y'all and I'll talk to you soon.